biggest benefit we're seeing from planting cover crops is the regeneration of our soils. When we first purchased this operation in 1991, our soil organic matter levels were 1.7 to 1.9 percent. Infiltration rate on precipitation was a half of an inch of rainfall per hour. Today, because of 20 plus years of zero till, because of a very diverse crop rotation, the use of cover crops and the integration of livestock, our soil organic matter levels are now 5.3 to 6.1 percent and our infiltration rate is over eight inches of rainfall per hour. Every acre of our cropland, and we have approximately 2,000 acres of cropland, either has a cover crop growing before the cash crop, after the cash crop, or with the cash crop. But our goal is to have a living root in the ground as long as possible, feeding that soil biology. What we've done on our operation now is we haven't used synthetic fertilizer since 2008. We use no fungicides, no pesticides. We are using one herbicide pass approximately every two to three years. We're getting close to eliminating that also. We have uh, 127 bushel proven dryland corn yield. County average is under 100. So we're over 25% higher than county average without all the, the costs involved. We're saving a tremendous amount of inputs. Our cost to produce a bushel of corn last year was $1.42. That included all the land costs, uh, planting it, harvesting it, trucking it to market, everything. It's made least cost producers out of us. It's about the system and it's about thinking holistically. We're not in this to make the most profit this year. We're in it to regenerate our soils and long-term profitability. And because we've gone to this type of a production model, we're able to produce our cash commodities at a fraction of the cost 